Hi everybody and welcome to Fearless Me TV. My name is Joe Patty and today I'm going to show you guys how you can make money from your art. So get out there and have some fun with it and start making some money. So don't categorize yourself as this starving artist. Let's do something about it and really be happy with what you're doing. Enjoy it and make money. All right, so first I'm going to start off. I don't want to make this video really, really long, so I might do a part two because I don't want to shove everything in a video, in one video rather. So let's just see how we go. The first thing I wanted to show you was about skins. And, uh, and I'm just going to, this is more about painting, and, uh, but it is a way about making money. So I'll quickly go through this part before I get on to the main stuff. Skins are just like you could put a, even a Walmart bag or garbage bag down under your paintings when you paint. And the drip off gets on the plastic and then it dries. And you can cut a piece off with scissors or whatever. And then you can take it off the plastic like this. And of course, I would, you know, do it more carefully when I'm making something. I just want to rip it off to show you guys. And you could take it off the plastic like that. And look how shiny that is on the opposite side. And even if it's wrinkled, if you re-wet it and lay it flat, it'll get the wrinkles out. But it's really pretty. And this is your artwork, you guys. And I got this at Walmart for $10. It's called The Love of Beading. And it comes with everything you're going to want in there to make, you can make four necklaces out of that. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing because there's instructions in there. And you guys can uh, dig into that later if you want to. But I was just showing you how you can make jewelry and give them as gifts or sell them. And do, like I said, this one kit for $10, well, I'm not going to dig it all up. But for $10, look what you could make. And this is your own artwork in there. And you can even take pictures and, and put pictures in there and stuff because you can print it out on paper. And then the little glass bubble makes it really shiny. You don't even have to put a finish on it. You can add sparkles to it when it's wet, right before, you know, you dry it, or right before it dries, rather, and it makes really cool, fun stuff. You can make rings and all kinds of stuff, and like I said, it's a $10 kit at Walmart, and it's just called The Love of Beading, and you can make four different uh, necklaces just out of that kit. You can also use a puncher if you have a punch. I'll show you that really quick. You could take a puncher after your uh, stuff dries. And say you like, uh, maybe you want this piece right in here that's got pretty turquoise in there. So you're going to cut it out like that. And what you can do then is you take your hole puncher and you can, I got plastic on it, let's see if I can. You could punch it through the plastic or whatever, but... Or you don't have to punch it through the plastic. But I'm just going to do it through here right now really quick because I want to show it to you. You stick it in your hole puncher. And you can get heart designs or whatever. And you punch it like that. And you pull it out. And sometimes it's going to get stuck. So you want to use like a fingernail file that can pull that out. But on the bottom then, you get your design that comes out like that. Mine got a little stuck because I had too much plastic on there. Then you could peel it out and you can stick it on anything. You can make, uh, get a canvas and put a whole bunch of, the, of your punch outs on the canvas. And it's really cool. And like I said, it gets stuck. You can just poke it out with this. But I had a lot of plastic on mine. But, you know, you should take the plastic off first. There. And I was just showing you guys, though, how it's done. And that's a, actually a lot of fun. It's relaxing. So you guys can do something like that that's relaxing if you want to just sit down at the table for a while and do something instead of pouring paint and worrying about something. So you could do that. And then if that's only a $10 kit, think that you could sell each piece for, you know, $20 or more, depending on how much time you put in it and what you want to do. Okay, now I'm going to get on to the next thing. I want you guys to know that there's a place online. It's called Redbubble. And here it is. I've got, to, I'm going to get a bag so I can show you the, uh, what it looks like. Hang on a sec. It's just like Society6 and some of those other places. And it's called Redbubble. Now, it's free to join. It does no cost to you. And you go on there and you download your pictures of your art. And you don't even have to have a professional picture. They actually guide you through it. They size it for you. And uh, you can pick out all kinds of stuff that you can have made for you at no cost. 
and they will sell it for you. And of course you can advertise like on your channel, like with me, everything that I'm talking about today is going to be in the description in down below the video. So you can hop on there and check things out. So if you go to anywhere like amazon.com, redbubble.com, and we'll talk about that more in depth in just a second. But so you don't need a special link or anything. You can just go there and it'll guide you on what to do if you want to be in, in sales and that stuff. So your stuff will get sold and you get money. They keep most of it. I will tell you that. But there, remember, you're not the drop shipper. You don't have a place in the garage where you're making skins for cell phones and stuff like that of your artwork. So someone else is actually doing it for you and supplying the supplies. You're just giving them your artwork. So in a, in a sense, you're just selling your your art pictures, you know, and you're not, uh, you know, giving it away or whatever. You, you still have the rights to it. You're just, just giving this online so you can have products made. This is a cell phone skin from Redbubble, and they sell for about $15 on uh, Redbubble, and I, you get like $5 of that money, which isn't a lot, but remember, like I said, it's, it's something for doing nothing. All you're doing is sending in pictures of your artwork. So this is one. And then I had um, coffee mugs made. These make great gifts. This is from Redbubble. And this is a coffee mug that I had made of one of my artworks with the cells in it. I had another coffee mug made. And, I, and you can pick the color of handles that you want. And like I said, I know it's not a lot of money. But you know what? You're getting something for just sending in pictures. This is a picture of coffee mug that I wanted for me is because it's inspirational. And I'm on here like praying to the poor gods, doing a little prayer right before I and during while I was making a pour at the park. <laughs> so that's always fun because you've got your, uh, you could buy it for yourself too. And then, like I said, they make great gifts. Also, at Redbubble, you can get whatever you want. I wanted to show you. They have, I got some, um, I ordered some uh, pillows. And even pillows from pictures that I took of some Wisconsin cows and really cool stuff. But it hasn't been delivered yet. So I'm going to do another video after the new year on the Red Bubble products. And then here's the other one here. You can even have your name put on it. These are like little zippers, little zipper purses. And you can advertise things. And they have backpacks. This one has a drawstring. This one's just advertising my channel. But you can have it in any way you want. And these are little uh, little designs that I had made and bought too from different things that you do. You can get on Redbubble. So you can all you have to do is just send the pictures in. And it's just like Society6, only I think that Redbubble gives you a little more kickback. So like I said, I had leggings made and pillows. And they do blankets and comforters and all kinds of really fun stuff. And you guys will love it because you get... You know, art isn't just for walls anymore, you know, forget about that. Deck the walls with lots of paintings, fa la 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 la, you know, get it out there, get your art out there, put them on your bed, put a pillow on your couch, do what you can because it's a lot of fun and, you know, your art is all over the house because it's you and that's what you want to do. You're trying to advertise for yourself at the same time you're enjoying your own work. Okay, so I wanted to say something really quick, you guys, about the skins. And that the reason I was telling you about that $10 kit from Walmart is just because um, you have to try it out first before you go on eBay or somewhere and get a whole bunch of uh, all that all that stuff and make a whole bunch of jewelry because you don't want to spend a bunch of money getting the supplies if that's not something you want to do. So just get a $10 kit and try it out and see if you like doing that. Okay, so I just wanted to say that uh, Redbubble is just my per personal preference. And you guys don't have to use Redbubble. If you want to go to Society6 or somewhere else, that's fine. I just wanted to show you what I do and try to help you guys out. Okay, another thing I wanted to talk about 
Well, let's get in depth just really quick about that, um, like the Amazon.com or the Redbubble.com or Society6.com. You just go to any of those places and you look at the top up in the menu and it'll ask you if you want to, uh, you know, sell a product or whatever. And then you click on that and then it guides you from there because you're not buying anything. So when you go to the menu, you don't want to just push the buy button. You're not purchasing something. You're, you want to sell something or create something. So that's what you do. You just go on the menu and once you push that, click on the buttons that says sell your art or sell something, then that's, that's the, you know, you could follow it from there. So I wanted to tell you guys something. There's six different ways to make money on Amazon. I'm not going to get into that today, but I wanted to tell you that you can be, uh, an influencer or an associate, like I started off as an associate. And then if you get a certain amount, a large following on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, whatever, then you can be an influencer. And what that is, and I'll have that in the, down below the video too. It's, um, you can apply for it. And if they, you know, they don't accept you, like I said, that you can always get in as an associate. And being an Amazon associate or influencer, if you're an influencer, you can have your own uh, channel on um, your own URL on Amazon. So it would have your channel name on it, whatever. And you could sell stuff that you have. On, well, there's so many different ways. I'll get into that at another video. But the main one I just wanted to tell you really quick is what I have. I'm an Amazon influencer. And that means that I have my own URL and I sell my paint supplies down there. And, uh, I, it's the supplies that Amazon carries, but it's the things that I use. So if people are watching one of my videos and they want to do that, then uh, and make something that I made, they can go down in the description and click on my link and I get a small kickback if they use my channel, uh, my link for that channel on Amazon. It doesn't cost anyone any extra money. To order through there it would be the same as if you went to Amazon and ordered it but if you order it through my link it helps me keep my channel running because I get a small kickback and I don't take the cash I just get uh, like a gift card from Amazon and some like five dollars once in a while I'll come in the mail or ten dollars or something because it's a small amount but it's enough to keep trying to help yourself do other avenues to get other revenues so that's about the influencer program and after the new year I am going to do an in-depth video about Amazon's six ways to make money. Okay now let's get back to something else. So let's talk about oh my card reader. I wanted to tell you about a card reader. So if you go out and you do um, do dif uh, different shows or if you want to go to art show or if you go to like the Cranberry Festival or something like that and of course you take cash but you don't have a you're not going to have a cash register and a machine there and everything. So I have a little card reader and you can get it. They're free. You can order one. And uh, I think it's just $10 to sign up or whatever. Um, they take, uh, actually it's not even $10 anymore. They just take a small amount from each sale. Because I uh, seen that when I went to get in a haunted house. These people did this haunted house thing and they don't have a, they don't take credit cards, but they had this little white square. It's called the square, and it's a card reader. And they put it in their phone, and they could swipe people's cards and say that it was you got something or sold something for $6. So if you sold something for $6, then the card reader place that you're connected through online, they put the money in your account, but they'll take out like, out of 6 bucks, I think they took out, I, know, I think it was like $0.13 cents or $0.11 cents or something like that. And you can always charge that extra. Like say you're selling something for six bucks and you're going to use the card reader. You can tell them it's six dollars and 13 cents. So you can break even with yourself on that. And I'll show you that in another video too if you don't know what I'm talking about. But it's a card reader and it's just a little white square. And if you guys have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'll be glad to tell you all about. Okay, let's go to this. This is something that I got, and this is also, um, as an Amazon influencer, I have this um, down in my Amazon link. These are 4 by 4s like the Economy Cotton uh, mini canvases, and it's got little easels with it, and I got it in a pack. It's like $15 for these. There is, let's see how many is in here, set of 14. 
and they come like this little easels and what you can do is just make little paintings and have uh, like little giveaways or like if you go do an art show and of course you know I've already seen people have these and um, paint stuff on it and do a pour and do silhouettes or whatever and you could sell them kids like them stuff like that because when your parents or somebody's out shopping with their kids and stuff it's nice that the kids can buy something too but it's good to buy in a package like this because unlike the jewelry that you don't want to go and spend a bunch of money on eBay spending hundreds of dollars on loading up on stuff to make jewelry if you're not even sure you're gonna do that or not this is something that I know you'll be sure to use and so buying in bulk like this saves you money okay and speaking of like buying in bulk and doing that I wanted to show you guys this is another way to make money at a show or like um, wherever you go and you want to uh, sell some paintings so I went online and I ordered these these are donut boxes and fairly inexpensive and I got the kind with the plastic lid so you can see inside and it just opens up and you just close it up like that whatever and I want to show you what I do with it so you get these little six by six canvases and you make a painting but you're not making the painting you're gonna let someone else make the painting you're gonna have a little setup it's your um, when you go to like the cranberry festival or somewhere like that or an art place and uh, even if you're on the sidewalk somewhere in front of a coffee shop and you can ask them if you could um, spend a Saturday afternoon there because I think that uh, they like it too because you're bringing in business for them someone's going in buying coffee and a donut or a sandwich and you're out front with a um, one of those long banquet tables and you're selling little pieces of art so you don't have to have a whole big setup out there but you're just doing a little something to get out there to get your name out there and to engage because that's the most important thing about this it's engaging with other people and getting out there in your community because you've got to be you know get people to know your name or get people to see your art so it's showing your art is, is more important than having a lot of subscribers or having a large following that you know they leave you a message once in a while it's more important to just get out there show your work and be happy about it be happy making it and be happy showing it and on that note this is other people are making this so you get these blank canvases I just got this at Walmart you don't have to get some fancy gallery wrap box or whatever so you get that and then what I did with this I used um, movable like a remo not removable but let's see if I can find it this I love E6000 but this is a extreme tack glue so it's repositionable that's what I meant to say and I put the little glue on there and I reposition it to I want it where I want it so it doesn't move or whatever but I've done this taking it off and putting it on a lot because I was testing it but you put that in the middle there like that and when someone comes along because you're gonna have bottles you're gonna have bottles at your on your table like this and you don't have to have a whole bunch you can have just seven different colors your white and your black of course and then maybe five other colors so people can you know make their own pour make their own painting and you're guiding them through it and you're charging them $15 and they get to take this home and the reason I put this little thing there a little upside down plastic cup is so the painting is going to be wet and you don't want it to hit the sides and all that so it's gonna be in there and then you go like that and they get to take their painting home in their donut box and they can see it and not bump it all over and when you go like that it won't even go anywhere it won't hit the sides and mess up the side frame because it's gonna be stuck on the inside on that little plastic cup and now you've showed somebody you brought people to your table and you're selling this for $15 you know and the donut boxes are really cheap you get a whole bunch at once I think I paid 13 or $10 for a whole bunch of them and then these you know these are fairly cheap and these you got already so this is a good way to get engaged with people and they're gonna have a lot of fun and you're having fun too because you're actually showing somebody how to do it and they're enjoying it and you're making money okay now on to the next thing 
Business cards. I think business cards are important because you can, when you sell something, you can just put it in there when you sell something or I tape it to the back of a painting. But that's why I got this little thing that's called a sprocket. This is my artwork and I've done a video on this sprocket already, but it um, it's like a sticker and it comes out about the size of a business card and you peel the back and you can stick it on a painting or stick it on a donut box or whatever. So you get your name out there. And when you do a business card, um, they're not that expensive. I went to Vistaprint and I got a whole bunch of them. And then, you know, you have coupons for 20% off and stuff. And they have a really quick turnaround. And you want to do something that's personal. Like with mine, I did my business card. I have a shiny spot there. And it is just um, me pouring paint. And then on the back advertises my YouTube channel. And then this side advertises my website where I have the larger paintings or whatever. But you can put whatever you want on there. But I think that if it's, you get creative, since you're an artist, you can come up with something to have a really cool business card. Have something people talk about. And just so you know, I really like to get my name out there sometimes. So I actually drop these everywhere I go. I go to Walmart, I drop a couple. And I go over to the art section or where they sell paint and canvases and Drop one there. Or if I go to the grocery store, I'll drop one there. And I actually was at the mall last week with my granddaughter. And we stood in line at a Chinese place. And I set one on the table like that. And then when I went and ordered the food, when I was in line, I was standing in line like this. And then I dropped one. And then I picked up my plate. And so the guy behind me actually picked it up and was looking at it. And and I was I just looked at him like, oh, I don't know what that is, you know. <laughs> It's just kind of fun. Get your name out there. and It's fun dropping your business card. You can get a whole bunch fairly cheap. quick I made a mistake in the price these little mini canvas it's $23 for these and there is a, a set of 14 in there and then also on the donut boxes there's 15 of those for $13.99 I'm gonna do this really quick guys because it's like not even 20 degrees outside but when I got my business cards at Vistaprint I got this banner it's a mesh banner it was $30 and it's got all these little rings in there so you can tie them up when you go do an art show or if you go to the park or you set up a table in front of a coffee shop and you can get your own artwork put on there and it's all weather because it's mesh. So it's really cold out here, guys. I'm going to go back in. But I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> well, I'm back in the house. Sorry about that. The wind was picking up. <laughs> anyway, that mesh banner was uh, six feet long and two feet wide and it was about 30 bucks. So that's really nice because it's an all weather kind of thing. Okay, everyone, I want to talk about one more thing and then uh, maybe do another video after the new year or whatever. I don't want to bore you guys, so I hope you're not bored. And you guys, I would appreciate it if you left me some comments in the down below the video on was this too long or is this good information? Do you want me to make more videos like this or just make videos of showing you how I paint something or you know, I appreciate the feedback because I love you guys and I, I want you guys to be happy and learn stuff. So I'm not stingy about sharing my knowledge. So it makes me happy. Okay, on that note, let's talk about one more thing so you can make money. I buy a little, I buy these little tiny things of wood and they're really inexpensive and or you can just make it yourself and you can pour over it and make a painting and then you buy these little things, uh, hooks, like this one here. I call this When Pigs Fly. <laughs> these are make nice gifts, and they're fairly inexpensive. Like this was five bucks, and then the wood was like uh, $2.99. Plus you can get deals or wait for sales or get coupons. And then you can make something like that or just have one. And this is cute little piggy with the wing on it, and I call it like When Pigs Fly. So you guys can put a saying on there. Or just pour painting and then they have these kind you can get a nice hook if it's a really nice gift you won't need something like that you can actually do it the back like uh, you were gonna hang a painting with some uh, hanging wire 
Or you can do like what I'm doing with this is this. This is a gift. It's a big piece of wood that I got. Actually got it at Walmart. And I got this big piece of wood. And what I wanted to do, I painted it. I painted this first. And I did a video on it, but I just, I didn't post it yet because I'm not done. <clears throat> it's kind of like in pieces. <laughs> and I painted the sides and then I put some here, let it drip, let that dry. Put some here, let it drip, let that dry. But ultimately it's going to be a, like a little coat rack. And I thought I'd put that right there like that. And it would look so nice in a modern home or in a country home. It's going to be really cute. And it's, it's a specialized gift. But if you wanted to do something like this, you could make it. And when you make one like this and when you go to like um, the park or in front of that coffee shop or art show, this could be like your main piece, like you're showcasing something. So because you're going to have your artwork everywhere instead of having just your artwork on the wall in the back that you had made portable, you can have other things sitting out alongside with some jewelry and those tiny little canvases I was telling you about. Or get yourself some donut boxes, everybody, and let other people engage and get involved. So that would be really fun. And, you know, so I hope this video wasn't too long. I'm just trying to get all this information out. The other thing, too, really quick, is that not only are you getting involved in your community, but you can go... When you give away something, go make a nice painting. It's not going to cost you much, and you enjoy doing it anyway. And give it to your doctor. I did. Give one to the dentist. Pass out your business cards when you go there. So I had the dentist call me, and I, when I went in there for teeth cleaning, and she told me that um, she was liking my artwork and what she's seen from the last time I was in there, and I gave her some information. And she wants to look through my artwork, and I don't really have a portfolio because YouTube is my portfolio. So remember that, you guys, your Facebook or your social media, or your YouTube, your Instagram, whatever, that is your portfolio. So start working on that and start building up a nice little clientele so your name can get out there. And like I said, dentists, doctors, or email somebody in another office. Like if you go somewhere in another town and you participate in something, I don't even care if it's an AA meeting or whatever, you know, speak to the owner of the building or the owner of the business and, you know, see if they're interested in purchasing any work from you. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for right now because I'm sure this is long enough and I really don't want to bore you. So I'd appreciate you guys if you just tell me what you think in the comments below. If you want me to make more videos like this, I will. All right. You guys have a happy and safe holiday season. I love you all. Bye.